Hello, in this video we will check out cluster peering and storage virtual machine peering. Peering is needed for snap mirror relationships. If you snap mirror two volumes in the same storage virtual machine, that can be done without any peering. You can simply set up a snap mirror relationship. SVM peering is needed when you snap mirror volumes in different storage virtual machines. And when these storage virtual machines run in two different clusters, the clusters also need to be peered. Now what is peering? Peering sets up a trust relationship between two or more entities. So if you peer two storage virtual machines, volumes can be snap mirrored between these two SVMs. The order of snap mirroring is irrelevant, so you can snap mirror from SVM A to SVM B and vice versa. The same goes for clusters. Peering two or more clusters means that relationships between storage virtual machines in these clusters can be set up and snap mirrors can be configured in both directions. Now what is needed to peer clusters and what is needed to peer SVMs? For cluster peering, first you need an intercluster lift on each node in the two clusters that will be peered. And every intercluster lift in the first cluster should be able to communicate with every intercluster lift in the other cluster. So this has to be full mesh, so to say. The lifts can be on dedicated ports, but that's not necessary. The lifts can share ports that are also used by other lifts. Now, before we actually do it, let's first have a look at the workflow. First, create intercluster lifts on all nodes in both clusters, then peer the clusters, and finally peer the SVMs, and that'll be it. So to keep it simple, I've set up two single node clusters, and this is the system manager of my first cluster. I go to cluster and open up the settings. And when I go all the way down, I find the place to enter the intercluster lifts. Since I've only got one node, I only have to enter one lift. And I'll give it the IP address uh, that ends with 101. The subnet doesn't really matter, as long as the other node has the same subnet. And I wait for a second until my user interface gets updated and my IP is available. I open up a new tab and connect to the second cluster, where I will perform the same action. So I have to log in again, of course. I go to the cluster settings and add an intercluster lift. So I use an IP address within the same subnet. Uh, if I have a router in between, that would work, but I'm just going to use the same subnet. In my case, that will work as well. And then the lift is created. Now I could set up the cluster peering from this cluster, but I go back to the first cluster, and here I can start peering the clusters like this. First I have to generate a passphrase. That will be in the second cluster, so I launch the second cluster again by typing the IP address of that cluster and click Launch. And then it takes me to the second cluster once more, where I can log in and then scroll down to copy the passphrase, and I close. Now I go back to my first cluster and enter the passphrase. And then I need to add an IP address. Now based on that passphrase, it automatically enters the remote IP, so that one of the second cluster. I click peer and it's done. Now the only thing I have left to do is peering the storage virtual machines. Now I've only got one storage virtual machine in each cluster, so that will be easy. Uh, it's going to be SVM blue peering with SVM red. That will take some time again and I'm I'm done. So I've got a peered cluster with peered SVMs. I could set up snap mirror. 